have the open house over there, right? I don't know. I saw the open house. Connie kind of said they're having an the open house over there. Potatoes. How many potatoes is it? Um, it's a probably about four pounds. That's quite a bit. Yeah. Salt. Probably gonna need a little more. So this video is to show Conley how to make Granny's famous mashed potatoes. Pepper. And whenever I was a little boy, she was not allowed to put black pepper in the mashed potatoes. That's true. Because <laughs> if I saw one speck, I wouldn't eat any of it. That's true. <laughs> Got over that, thank goodness. Yeah, now I like black pepper. You know why I didn't like it? I don't know if you like this story. Was it because Actually, your dad told you it was like eating dirt? No. You want, and he asked me, you want some dirt? <laughs> no, that would have been way better. I think I did actually eat a bunch of dirt. That's what my dad said about putting pepper. But then he turned right around and put pepper all over his. <laughs> Three tablespoons of what I did it. Yoke that I got. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Do you only use Hellman's or just whatever you got? I didn't like Hellman's very well until that's all they had. All this faulty store. I usually used to use the great value kind, but but I I'm getting where I like it better. It was just just I never used it very much. All right, here we go. Bit of I'm gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> The chicken. So I'm going to start cooking it until about the time that we do. Is it already cooked? Yeah. Well, I'll cook it. Yeah. So Is it red? It's red as Josh's. I'm just keep adding milk until it's about the consistency I want it. This depends on how thick or thin you like them. Well, I like them big, but it's just, I just know the consistency I want, so it's just kind of like not too thick, but not too thin. What, um, what speed are you using on the balloon feeder? Right now I got it on low. Oh, okay. Let me turn it up. Did you put butter in there? Yeah. How much? One stick. And the kids always like the potatoes to be wheat. They don't want to mash. They always want them to be wheat. What's the difference? When you mash them, you just use a potato masher and there's clumps in there. Uh -huh. I like the one there just had a little lumpy down there. Yeah. Not good, but it's small enough. The grandkids always like to eat it. Yeah. And I try to sit, send them to the, here's Thomas. No, it's crutch. And I try to fix it with them to smash, and then I'm going to eat them. With the potato masher? Yeah. Grab yeah, over here, put some. patio out, out behind his house. He had to bring it way up with dirt mm -hmm. and then they stacked those kind of rocks that interlock yeah. around the back side of it. It looked really nice. Is that the one selling their house? Yeah. And what are, not that. They're selling their house? Yeah. He, as soon as he gets this one sold, he's... I think I might need a little more salt. He's, he's got one up in uh, uh, near Garfield that he's bought or going to be about finished paying for. You know, it was, Kind of bought more salt this, with this book. Tastes good to me. Okay. The sale of this one. Still, Dwayne, want to try? You want to try it? No. It's not it's, real. Good. I know what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, it tastes really good to me. Can you put it away? Please. How about this? Please. I don't think you put um, mayonnaise in there when I brought the little boy, did you? 
先下嘅水魚蛇，魚水塘，就是啲人係天生做得。They said it was caused from milk products and things, you know, like that. So, so you can only have mashed potatoes if we really put mayonnaise in. Oh, so, okay. So milk? Eggs, I think. But I don't know. But anyway, it seems as if we can have any kidney stones so much. So that's when they started using mayonnaise in our mashed potatoes. And I always liked it so much, I just kept doing it. Now you use milk and mash and mayonnaise, huh? Huh? Now you use milk and mayonnaise. I do too. Is that what you said I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I told you I'm not hearing you guys today. Mmm. Perfect. Those are delicious. Perfect and perfect. See, that didn't take very long. As long as far, it's just boiling on. Good. Good job. It's boiling on. How long did it take to boil them? About 20 minutes. Because okay. you gotta heat the water up, you know. Yeah. But I'd rather do it putting cold water in than I had to put hot water in because it slowly heats the potato up. So you don't have those hard cores in the center. Oh, is that what causes that? Yeah. You can try to cook them in real hot water. The outside will get done most of the time, but then the, the center stays real hard. Well, you had to peel them first, right? Oh, yeah. Seemed like that would take the most time. I didn't count that time. Well, they turned out to be worth it. Yeah. Mom, what am I going to put on the vegetable tray besides zucchini and peppers? Um, slice up a tomato. Wash it. You want half of it? I think you can go ahead and take a whole one of these. I'm going to say the biggest one in case... If we need it, we'll go ahead and do it. Now that's a tomato right there. Yeah. What kind is it, did she say? But aren't they beautiful? She mm -hmm. has the best gardens every year. Our friend Maxine, it was Maxine, right, that grew yeah. these? I know these are some kind of heirloom tomatoes. I can tell by their pattern. Like, like right here. Yeah. That stripey look. I think that's what heirlooms do. I don't know if any other kind do. And if it is an heirloom tomato, it's gonna be delicious. Oh, they're so good. Heirlooms are ones that have been grown for hundreds of years. Yeah, it was so good. I ate two last week. Mmm. Okay, and then I brought some stuff like um, hot banana peppers and jalapenos to put in, put in here. there too. Okay. Yeah. There's this, what else you need? That's it, I was just videotaping it. Okay. What are you going to do now? I'm going to start the chicken in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, I didn't make any gluten bread, but I found these gluten-free buns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't blame you for not trying to make it. I try to make it before. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that helped. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny because... Uh, the preacher this morning was talking about people had lost connections and the reason they started losing connection with other people first thing was air conditioning because people used to all sit out on their porch or in the backyard or whatever and uh -huh. neighbors come by and holler so that uh -huh. was the first one and then the next thing was too hot uh, to sit in the house so in other words they'd sit out on the front porch mm -hmm. yeah the next thing was garage doors so they come in the house and they turn on the air conditioner and they close the garage door. So, but also they got to where they could pull in the house and didn't even have to get out of their car because they closed the garage door and they didn't have to visit with anybody else. If anybody was walking by anything, they saw them. They yeah, couldn't even see them in the house. Yeah. Anti-social. <laughs> and then the next thing was uh, technology, you know, starting to, to pick up and stuff yeah. like that. I can't remember what the other one was. But it, it was so, it so made sense, you know, I hadn't thought about it. Here's common. Is it a black car? I think so. Either that or somebody just turned around. I think that was the case. Okay. It looks like they're leaving. Okay. I hadn't even thought about air conditioning being the reason. Well, you remember whenever we lived over there at the trailer park and we didn't have air conditioning? And we yeah. sat outside in the yard all the time? And there's always people out there with yeah. us. Yeah, we always knew the neighbors. Yeah. I don't think if we had air conditioning, we would have been inside. I don't think we would have known the neighbors.
years. Yeah, well, we did eventually get air conditioning. Yeah, that was the hottest time of my life. <laughs> it was hot, living in a trailer, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And the neighbors would ask me, why are you always sitting outside? Because it's the coolest spot. That was a yeah. nice shade tree right yeah, out Yeah, we needed to be in the shade. <laughs> They had air conditioning though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the guy across the street got in a motorcycle accident and was having to sell everything he had and because um, he couldn't walk anymore. But anyway, we bought his air conditioner for him, which was a a regular central unit. So. Oh really? It wasn't yeah. one to one or? No, it was a big air conditioner. Bill yeah. put a put a hole in the floor in the trailer and put a plenum into it and. It sure made we a difference. Off each end and yeah. That he way just, we he just hooked off. it right into the ductwork of the trailer for the heater. Okay. Well, that's good. I tell you, if I didn't go out front and water my plants every day, I probably wouldn't know my neighbors either. Because, you know, if I'm going out there checking the mail or watering the plants, yeah, that's whenever they say hi to me and invite me over. Do you want me to pour that into another bowl or, or is it's it all right like that? I think it was alright like that. It's easier to put back away. Yeah. I made it some fresh. It hadn't really thickened yet, has it? Tastes good to me. You want to try it? Here, try this. Try this one. Oops. I cut it off. I know, but I don't want much. I love homemade ranch. Me too. Mm. It's good. It's way better than the bottled stuff. Mm -hmm. I make mine extra thick though. Usually I do too, but this is not as thick as it was. Do you want to try it? Because my other was oh, real sure thick. Good. He's not much of a taste tester, huh? I try everything. Unless it's sweet. Like if it's cake frosting or cake ice. That's where my expertise comes in good. <laughs> <laughs> Are we having dessert today? <laughs> yeah. Banana pudding. Oh, banana pudding. You know what I was thinking I wish I would have asked for? banana split cake. I started to do that. That would be but good. I wanted to do a video on I it. Thought, <laughs> I thought Josh might. Well, he's probably still won't eat the banana pudding because of the gluten, right? Yeah, it's got wafers. Vanilla yeah. wafers. Yeah, he won't eat it. But I got fruit for him. Watermelon and cantaloupe. Oh, that's true. Do you want me to put the watermelon and stuff in here? Well, really go with the for you. Are you wanting some in there? That's up to you. You said you had some banana peppers to put in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that bag that I brought. Why are you holding the phone? Because I'm waiting to get to the end of the video. <laughs> are we done? Yes, yes. we're does done. It, does it want to copy over top 